All right, ladies and gentlemen, so starting February 8th, we're going to be getting the next Linden Breaker quest. Uh, so let's just quickly go over who you can actually end up bringing. Do note that you should probably always do it. You get approximately 600,000 transcendence points, and I want to say they increase the orbs, but I can't remember. I think it, we only get 50 orbs. I think that's about right. Uh, just make sure you go to step nine or wave 19, uh, but let's go over the new character or the new... Uh, rules that we have to go over and obviously i'm pretty sure the first one is going to be the new character from this end of month banner uh but let's just see so the enemies are hollow enemies are mine so that's a dead giveaway it's gonna be for raruka but uh let's see what else i have in store so heart attribute only which is a bit unfortunate because now you can't bring a character with hollow killer uh and if they're ranged so like you know eighth anniversary ichigo and i can't think of any other hollow range uh okiora i believe is a hollow range killer so kind of unfortunate that they kind of limited it quite a bit to, to be honest but uh so yeah it's hard attribute only range damage times two killer effect times five and damage from attribute advantage enemies have i don't understand why they have this considering they have only heart characters that you can bring but it's fine uh and then obviously they have burn on the field as well so yeah basically 100 100 meant for raruka uh, she's going to be probably one of the best characters for it anyways because of how her gauge works where she increases everyone's on the team's damage. It isn't like just for herself. So it's going to be really, really good. So if you bring in a character like I want to say Quilgy, I believe he has the uh, recharge in between rooms for heart enemies. Uh, and then you, you can just bring Ruka and then uh, I guess anyone else realistically like maybe the uh, new end of your Ichigo. Uh, Bruno would be an excellent choice, but obviously we'll have to see what the other requirements are. But that would be like a full heart team that you could potentially bring. Uh, so for slot two, enemies are no affiliation. Uh, enemies are technique. Um, so I mean, right away, I'm just thinking 8th anniversary Ichigo, but you know, you could probably bring anyone that has no affiliation killer or just uh, range damage. Yeah, so basically there's no affiliation killer because you get the killer effect times 5 and then if you bring them range, there you go. Uh, power attribute damage times 2, uh, range damage times 2, killer effect times 5, and then poison. I actually don't know who this one is for besides like 8th anniversary Ichigo, that's like the first one on my mind. But I actually can't think of anyone else that's range with no affiliation killer that's a power character. So we'll have to go into the album and check out exactly who we could bring there. Uh, for slot number three, it doesn't matter as much. There isn't like any multipliers besides like, I mean, if you have killer against them, then boom. And then if you have uh, typed uh, advantage against them, then you get a slight increase, but nothing like insane, like double damage if you're range or if you have a certain attribute or a killer. Uh, so no affiliation, uh, enemies are heart. So I want to say that this is probably going to be for Yuha. I would just have to imagine. Uh, obviously, you could bring anyone realistically, but that's just the first character that popped into my head. And then damage from attribute advantage enemies have. Okay, so you basically do want to bring uh, a mind character because your damage from other attributes is going to be halved. Uh, damage from attribute advantage enemies have. Yeah, so I think. <laughs> I think. Maybe I'm misinterpreting this and they do more damage to you. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe damage from attribute advantage enemies have okay so you take less damage if you're attribute advantage that's all that is okay i i'm pretty sure i just got done with work i'm sorry uh and then they have burn on the field so kind of want a character that has some sort of immunity to burn but other than that you should be golden so let's hop right into the album and see who you could potentially bring all right so these are all the heart range uh hollow killers so as you can see there's like two within the past year uh, maybe this character dropped earlier this year or like last year I guess I actually can't remember when he released but either way I've never seen him be used so I assume he isn't that great but Rangiku and Maruka probably the best two options I'm probably gonna have having to use Rangiku or some other character that just maybe isn't ranged because uh, obviously you're going to want the killer effect because uh, you get a 10 5 damage bonus and then uh, you obviously are going to have to have a heart character so we'll just see who could be melee uh, but either way still a pretty good selection raruka is pretty nice uh she, she looks broken she looks broken especially because of her uh gauge that she has uh and then she also has drain 
So that's also very, very excellent for this. Uh, what other skills does she uh, have? She has team party recovery, so that would have been very nice for me, considering I uh, do take quite a bit of damage. They do. She does have fire resistance, so you could technically potentially use her in the final slot if you really needed to, but I don't know why you would do that, considering this is like the best one for her. She already has built-in long stride, so you could add in another long stride for even more long stride. And then she also has weakened defense, so if you end up bringing in like Yuha, like I was saying for like the final wave, uh, bring him in, then you do and you could into, or you should be able to get the extra soul bomb off. And so with Ruka, which her weakened defense. Uh, she should do quite a bit of damage right there, especially with this over all of her extra damage bonuses. So yeah, excellent character right there. Now let's go to a non-ranged selection and see who we could potentially choose out of there. All right, so you have a slightly bit more option and realistically the only one that I see that's probably even usable is gonna be Bruno. Maybe Shinji, maybe, but like, yeah, he's a NAD character. I, I, I don't really see it happening. If you make it work, that's amazing, but uh, I, just, I just don't see it happening. Uh, I think uh, Bruno is definitely going to be the best one. He has an insane damage output, especially because of his gauge. He gets an excellent 100% Berserker. Wasted skill, in my opinion, right here. The decreased damage taken, but either way, uh, he has long strides. Punch plus two is going to be super fast to get across the map. Every single time you practice gauge, he gets a heal. He has an SP boost of 50%. Uh, strong attack recharge of 30% every time you practice uh, gauge. And then... You have a start gauge of 70%, which is very nice. And then he also has complete status immunity. He also has Havoc, Frenzy 2, Frenzy 2 and Debilitator. Very, very nice character. So if you don't have the other two, like Rangiku or Ruruka, uh, Bruno is going to be an excellent option. I believe Ruruka should easily have more damage, uh, especially because she also gets the range bonus here. I, I think Rangiku is the worst one out of the three. So Bruno is second, and then Ruruka is first. All right, so I def this is all the power holo killers we have. No affiliation killers I have that are ranged. Okay. I accidentally had a whole nother killer on here and I didn't notice. But yeah, basically, uh, there's like two options here. Uh, eighth anniversary Ichigo. Very consistent damage output. Since he doesn't have like an insane uh, spike with like a gauge or an SP boost or anything. Uh, but he has weakening and drain on all of his attacks. He also has uh, shared complete status immunity. So he just can't get a... Uh, debuff he has havoc frenzy plus three increased uh status element chance against technique attribute enemies so since you're only fighting technique attribute enemies it's gonna be very nice for that uh and then yeah uh, he doesn't have a uh, poise break i don't think actually works in this unfortunately uh but either way he still has very very nice damage definitely uh probably gonna end up bringing him i believe it's probably who i'll end up bringing uh potentially other characters possibly momo if you have her duped out and then I wouldn't really recommend any of the other ones. They're literally all potion farmers. These three. I guess these three aren't, but that's just because they're really old. Uh, but yeah, basically just 8th anniversary Ichigo. Now let's go ahead and take off the range and uh, see who else you can bring. Uh, you could potentially bring Neliel. Uh, Soifon as well, I guess. She has some pretty good damage. But yeah, nothing, nothing insane. So, I mean, you don't need to bring a... Uh, power character you only get a power attribute times two so i mean if we just do this take this off and go back to range characters uh opens it up quite a bit so i feel as though this might be a lot more pe uh, people that end up doing so you have characters like asnut you have characters like macy economy is still an excellent option um kagura's your uh, guild coast characters are probably not you maybe potentially the noels because they do still have pretty decent damage i know this noel actually does have an sp boost so probably this one if you were going to uh go for it yeah she does oh, i thought she did it for a second uh, unfortunately she's only going to have an increased chance against power attribute hollows or no affiliation enemies you're not fighting power characters so unfortunate but still you could you could do pretty well if you at least have her duped out but yeah i think that uh macy honestly still might be better overall because she does have that insane damage output she has uh increase uh does she have increased chance no she has the recharge as well that's also very nice uh but she has damage to extra things like damage to paralyze damage to weaken she also has weakened defense if you consider soloing on her stage so yeah you can end up potentially bringing her uh for this one so yeah i would either recommend a anniversary you go macy as not or kaname i feel like those are the four that you would probably want to bring so moving on to the final slot I actually ended up completely forgetting that you could, for a slot two, end up bringing Quilgy. Uh, now he's not going to get like literally any of the bonuses, uh, unfortunately, but he does have such like crazy damage output that you could still potentially bring him, or you could just bring him for slot three. 
Uh, he's also he, he can be worked in like any slot. Really, this could be like actually like legitimately any slot. He can be used in slot one because he's a uh, hard character. He's not ranged though. He doesn't have killer. Uh, for slot two, he's not no affiliation killer. He doesn't have he's not power, so you know he doesn't get into that. And he's not ranged. Uh, and then for slot three, it would probably be his best slot realistically. But uh, you could bring him if you really wanted to. Uh, so you could bring him there. And then also. I want to say Yuha is also uh, a no affiliation killer. I already forgot. I'm not going to lie. He is. So you could bring Yuha in slot number two and then, you know, put you, uh, Kuogi at the very end. So that way, uh, if you're bringing Ruruka or Bruno, really any part character because you're forced to, uh, Kuogi is going to be giving you that 20% recharge uh, every time you go through a new boss wave. So that's going to be very, very nice uh, if you end up doing that. So. Just another few options that I thought of at the end of the video. You could also bring like uh, Unahana or any character like Rampage, to be honest. And I think that they could do quite well, especially in the slot number three. Or for slot number two, you could bring uh, 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 Rukia, but unfortunately her SA2 is a melee attack. So you do have to keep in mind about that. But that, that's, that's just another option. All right, so this is all of your no affiliation uh, mind characters since they are heart. Obviously, you don't need to bring this. This is just... Uh, characters you could bring uh, like the quote-unquote best options, which honestly I think kind of is true Yuha is an absolutely exceptional character as is a very good character especially on the breaker like he actually does very well in it uh, And then white is an absolutely outstanding character. So I think Yuha is definitely the best and then white and then as not uh, Yuha has the insane gauge build up if you end up killing uh, 80 characters you will get uh, more devastation berserker increased uh, melee damage and then special move increased by one uh, He also has you know sprinter plus two long shots that can be very fast. He has the mind attribute strong tech recharge minus 20% He has complete status immunity so you don't have to worry about the burn on the floor he has Havoc, Frenzy plus 2, Weakened Defense, and an SP boost. So he's going to be an absolutely incredible character. Basically the same thing with White, just an insane DPS. Uh, as not very, very good. Not as good as the other two in my opinion, but he's still a very solid option. Now if you were to go ahead and take off the Mind, since I mean all you're getting is the type advantage, um, you could end up bringing characters such as uh, Gein, I guess. Kaname, Thousand of Blood, Ichigo, Uryu is an absolutely incredible character here, especially if you end up bringing Macy in slot number two. So you could bring like Veruka, Macy, and then Uryu. Insane uh, combo right there. Uh, Art Rick Ichigo put could potentially work since I don't know how tanky they are. Uh, I assume they're going to be pretty tanky up until after wave 19, uh, but nothing like absurd until like after it, so like stage 20. But yeah, that's who I would realistically bring. Maybe I'm missing someone. Obviously, you can bring Nelly, yo. You can. Uh, I, I just don't think she's the best since she's kind of like a, po po a potion farmer, but also kind of a DPS, so it's a bit weird. Um, Byakia, I think, wouldn't be awful. I don't think he'd be awful. I think he's definitely better than, like, the, you know, like Yami, Jushiro. Uh, probably better than Yama. Probably. I mean, that's just what I'm going to guess. Uh, but, yeah. So, either way, I think for my team, I'm going to be end up bringing... All right, so for me personally, I think I'm actually just I'm going to bring bringing uh, Bruno, Macy, and Yuha. Unfortunately, there's like no like cohesive strategy between this besides just Yuha giving an extra soul bomb. But I've been looking at it. I'm like, I want to bring Macy over Ichigo. I do because my Macy is three out of five. So I have more dupes on her. Also, I think I just think she has more damage because uh, I mean there is poison on the ground. Does she have any way to heal? No, mm. I might, do I, no, there's no way I rip off Yuha, he's so broken. I have no idea, I have no idea, this is probably gonna, I'm going to end up personally trying, but work with it, you got, uh, mine is a bit iffy, if I had Veruka, I think it would be a bit easier, because you know, she obviously buffs your entire team, uh, but I don't, I mean, I could just end up bringing eighth anniversary Ichigo, but like he's only three out of he's only one out of five versus my three out of five Macy. She just doesn't get the power out to be damage times two, which I don't think would matter considering. Yeah, this is gonna be my team. I, I, I'm I'm just talking too much, but anyway, let me know down below what you guys are gonna end up bringing. Take care and peace out.